for anyone who watched my last video and, and, and had a couple of problems with the X scaling of a, a line and uh, also controlling what happens once it hits the reflectors, so I will put a link back to the problem video in the show and in the notes, sorry, and I'll probably, uh, once I figure out how to work YouTube, put one of those links on the video, but anyway, that's for another day. Um, I wanted to just go over what I'd done to, to fix the problem for anybody who's, who's having the problem uh, or may encounter it in the future. Um, the two problems, just in case you haven't seen the other video, is when um, my laser was fired from a gun object, uh, basically it didn't seem to extend the or X scale the line properly. Um, I seem to have to put different values in for different um, directions that the line was going in, but it didn't really make any sense because, you know, if it was going from left to right, in one instance it would go at one speed and then after it bounced off a reflector on another one and then maybe went left to right again I would have to adjust the speed again so it didn't really work well um, what I managed to do is find some code that um, basically will not extend the line beyond the bullet um, so I'll just show you what I've done um, so far so uh, if I get those reflectors set up so that they deflect the bullet in different directions and then fire um, comes along, bounces down left and then down again and it all works well um, the other problem I was having was, you'll have noticed that the reflectors went from a kind of alpha shade to a full shade um, it's actually a different object what was happening in the past was the, the bullet was coming along, it was hitting the reflector but it was still working on the step code that you know, figured out what the laser should do next, and if the reflector was in a specific image index, then they would just stop. Um, so the code wasn't wrong um, because it was doing what it should be doing. But my problem was I, uh, I couldn't figure out how to how to make it stop or deactivate the object that it had just hit. Um, what I did was I just simply replaced the the reflector object with a reflector hit object. Um, so the bullet comes along, um, hits the reflector. First thing it does is replace that reflector with the reflector hit object, and then uh, does other bits and bobs and moves on to the next reflector and the next one. Um, and it's quite good because now I don't have to worry about this. So if I, even if I move this, uh, maybe move this, and fire away, you know I'm. I'm I'm happy that the speed uh, of the X scale is always going to be right. Um, it's never going to try and check a reflector that's that's already been hit because it's been changed and the game is doing what I want it to do now. Um, just to quickly show you the code, <coughs> if I can find it. So, this code here is what I had before. Uh, basically, if it was coming along from left to right, it would go at this speed. Uh, if it was going along from, uh, you know, if it was going up the way, it would go at that speed and blah, blah, blah. So that, that just didn't work. What I found out was that if I could use point distance between two points, which is the X and Y coordinate where it originates and the X and Y coordinate of the, the bullet that you see firing along, um, then it never goes too fast or too slow, it always adjusts to the speed of the bullet. Um, and also, as you notice, it's done in one line instead of, uh, you know, a, a, a big if statement. Um, the other piece of code, if I can find it, Here we go. So basically, if if the laser comes along and it, it hits a block, uh, it creates some variables, um, creates the line, and then you'll notice that once it changes direction, what I do is I swap out um, the the reflector with the reflect done object, and I have no collision detection on the reflect done object, so um, it no longer checks that. So that's that's basically the solution to the two problems. I'll um, put a brief description in the video uh, and I'll link back to the problem video as well. And once I figure out, as I said, I'll link from the problem video to the solution video. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'm glad I fixed it. it was
and drive me up the wall. Cheers.